Howdy folks. I was doing a little railroading, so I thought I'd fire up the stream. Probably won't be a super long stream, but we're going to be running the trains for a little bit. Chat, chat popped out here in case somebody drops in. And there we go. Live chat. Whee! So we're down here at uh, Silva. Just got a fresh delivery to the interchange, and we're shuffling cars around. So that's what's going on. We'll push this cut of coal cars up here on the siding. That's the plan, anyway. New patch, so we got some new like trees and grass, some rocks. But it's pretty close to the track. <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of a scenery update. So I'm going to shove these onto this track. I th think they'll fit here. We'll find out. I didn't actually pull up my track diagram to see what the length of that siding was. So the problem is I ended up with a full interchange when I was dropping things off. And my engines were on the far side there. So that's not great. All right, so that's Robinson Gap. Let's go ahead and get the road power swung around here. All that other cut's moving. Oops. <laughs> Forgot you could open the door. All right, cool. Just making sure I had the right head end unit going there. You moving as well. Woo, it's loud. What's up, Gerald? Welcome. Yeah, it was just kind of random. I was sitting here. I was going to do some switching and stuff on the railroad. I thought, well, why don't we just turn the stream on in case somebody wants to drop in. CT2907 Thermy. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, I've been on the railroad. I just I haven't had a lot of time, so I'm not able to make more than like weekly videos. Pretty busy now that we got a lot of the railroad opened up. A line productions, howdy howdy. So I know railroad is pretty popular, so I thought, well, I'm gonna be doing some trains here for a little bit tonight, so we'll just fire up the stream. All right, we'll let them run on down. We'll go see how is, how's our little switcheroo doing here. Sweet. He's pulled in there. Excellent. Switch back over to this guy. What are you doing? Having a little trouble uh, figuring out you're supposed to stop there? Yeah, guys, I read the patch notes. And I've got about three and a half minutes on the new update so far, A-line. So, so far, so good. <laughs> it's the first time firing it up. All right, you good now? And tie those down. Let's have you head back kind of slow so we get this road power out of your way. Actually, should probably plan out my moves here. Don't mind that. I'll have him come down to the switch and let's figure out what we need to do with the road power here. But if you're just tuning in, we're down here at Silva sorting stuff out. It's early morning. We just got the interchange filled up. And I'm trying to get it all sorted out. So you're Robinson Gap. You're actually a Larka. Let's get a Larka on behind the road power. That'll make sense for when we get over to a Larka. All right, bring her on back to a couple.
So we're going to be building the uh, the coal drag that heads over to Alarka, and then we're going to be building the the Silva local. And then I haven't even looked. I think all the new locos are steam. I haven't even looked at them yet. I may want to get some more uh, motive power for running between Silva and East Whittier. I've been doing that with the Silva local so far. We got we got a decent little chunk of money. Okay, so we will pull ahead and L Smith machining. You're at a Larka, right? Do, 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 do. Yeah, so that's going out to a Larka as well. And then this tannery stuff is for the Silva local. All right, so all the way back to hoppers and then hoppers plus one boxcar needs to stay on this track. So we'll get you moving. Wee. Where's my handbrake? There you are. Lots of cool bug fixes in the update I saw, so that's good. Actually, is that the dead end? Yeah, that's the dead end track, isn't it? I don't want him going in there. Whoa! The mouse acceleration and stuff is still a little weird. What if I can get him stopped in time? Oh, I made a mistake. I didn't plan enough ahead. I forgot that track back there is a dead end. Let's just take him to manual. That turned off. Back him up a bit. All right, that'll work. And then we need to keep, keep that that way. We'll get our we got to get these trains ran around each other, if that makes sense. All right, he's coming on in. Beautiful. You see this track here, you would think it would go through and connect, but it goes through, and it's just for this in, these industries over here, and then it dead ends. It's actually quite an elevation difference up here, too. Yeah, exactly, A-line. I <laughs> wish it did, too. We'll get it figured out, though. I'm pretty new if you've been following the video series we just got silva opened up not too long ago so i haven't had to do a ton of switching down here yet where are you we need you so we'll just pull this guy back in here out of the way because we're going to want to grab those cars that we're going to drop from the other train on the back of this one it'll all work out A little tight there, but we're going to miss. All right. You stop right there, good sir. And then you. Come on ahead. we keep you to 10 because we're going to be stopping here in just a little bit. Yeah, we didn't get any new diesels. Uh, I think the Santa Fe was a new one. We get a new 10 wheeler, maybe? Not 
not sure. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> We're looking at the new stuff. Yeah, I needed to stop way back here. Overshot by about a car length and a half. Not the end of the world. Yeah, that's all tannery stuff. Hey, open up. Okay, and we still have, yeah, we've got a few Robinson Gap here, so we'll grab those. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, this is why you should plan out your moves, chat. I'm not always the best at that. Especially when I'm just messing around. I should have pushed that back a little clearer, because I, I need to get that cut here and grab these cars. So I should have pushed it back clear, and I didn't. I got lazy. Come on back to a couple. We'll get it sorted. Easy on the throttle there, Chief. Guess he slammed on the brakes too much. Back about what, two cars? Would be good. Yeah, it'll do. Bliss, if you want, just sitting there idling patiently. Will this guy ever get done? Okay, this stuff is all... It's Robinson Gap back to... This guy. So that stuff needs to go to East Whittier. That stuff will go on to Bryson. Yeah, so that whole cut needs to go to East Whittier. We'll grab that, and then this stuff needs to go on the back of this guy. Get it all sorted out. Looking at another train. Didn't switch you to yard mode quick enough. Alright, he's coming on back. Let's take another look. I think the tin wheeler... I don't remember which one we had before. I think one of these is new. One of these is way heavier than the other. 88,000 pounds, 135,000 pounds. Very similar tractive effort. Uh, was the American new? Not sure. I think I'll just keep this guy doing the Silva to East Wood what, what run for now. All 
All right, pull those on up a bit, and I'll see if I can actually pay attention this time. That's not what I wanted to do. There's the right button. All right, so this, yeah, that back box car right there. Nick says the F-71, the T-22, and the A-23 are new. Okay. So we got, did we get a lighter 10-wheeler? No, we got a heavier 10-wheeler. Interesting. Uh, it holds a lot more coal. Cool. A little more water and a lot more coal. Wait, what? The tender weighs less than half as much, but holds over twice as much coal. Some of these numbers don't make any sense, guys. <laughs> uh, Nick, Corey, Ice, and Colorado Train Nerd. Howdy, howdy. If I didn't say howdy to you. Hello. If you're just joining, uh, I was just going to be running some trains tonight, so I thought I'd fire up the stream. I know a lot of people like Railroader. It's a nice, chill game. So we're going to unhook you. And then that's everything that's going on the cold drag. Everything else is either Silva Local or heading to East Whittier. All right, cool. So now we can pull this guy up. Let him come all the way up and then we'll just go up past and we'll drag, hook onto this drag and we'll have everything ready to go to Alarca. I need to figure out where to stop that train. We'll throw a fusey down there. That should be plenty of room. In theory. Yeah, some of the colors are different, I noticed. I don't know if that's with the new update or if that's just because I have more industries. I'm not sure how that works. How long is that? Oh, yeah, that's not quite as long as I thought it was. Let's try there. We'll see if that works. So yeah, there's, uh, so I think there's the grass and the trees have changed a bit. They've got like more rocks and stuff in the rivers and the shorelines I think are different. Some graphical tweaks, stuff like that. Played for an hour and then you saw that it was up, hit it updated. <laughs> it's the way it goes sometimes. All right, you're headed off there. That's excellent. Let's pop back over to this guy. So let's leave that cut there. I need to grab this tannery stuff. Oh, yes, you're, you're right. You do have a switch lined against you. My bad. On the last phase to get Alarka unlocked. Uh, whichever loco you like. I use the little chonky switcher. Just because it's shoving the ore trains up and down the, the steep hills. Um, the only downside to that is it doesn't have very long legs, so you got to keep an eye before you send it up to Alarca Junction. Just make sure you got plenty of coal and water. Well, I don't really have an opinion yet, Colorado Train Nerd. I've been playing the update for like less than 20 minutes, so. I mean, it, it's an update. The game still works. 
No major changes, just a bunch of bug fixes from the looks of it. And I think three new Steam Locos. Yeah, we're grabbing these, just making sure. Think about the S23. See, I don't know the Locos enough to even tell you. <laughs> I don't know what an S23 is. Uh, what do I have? I have the, yeah, number five. That's what I use, the S23. The little chonky switcher. Uh, I guess something new is if you hit R, you get a loco, you get an engine roster. R for roster. Why they don't make these windows resizable. And then you can see like which, which engines being controlled, what speed they are, what they're doing. You can, uh, you can select them in the inspector window or, or follow right from this window. So that's handy. That's a nice addition. Strody123, good evening. Locomotive. It's a, that's a good username for this stream. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, look, there's already like almost 30 of you in here just for a random stream. You guys love your trains. I like it. I was going to be doing some of this, so I th wasn't planning on making an episode out of it. I was just uh, doing some work on the railroad. So thought I'd fire up the stream, and here we are. Not going to be a super long one. All right, you are all tannery stuff, right? Yeah, you're all tannery stuff. I need to figure out where you're going. Uh, we got SP and HD and SH. I don't know where any of the stuff is. So we got to get that figured out. think that's this track? So we'll have him ease up here and let's just throw down a fusey. And while he's easing up there, let's get this guy sorted and we can get him headed out towards Alarka. Uh, we'll see how the passenger train's doing too. I usually wait till about 8 o'clock or so for it to head out. Just so it's full. Double check that. Oh, you didn't quite clear the switch. I'm just going to confuse the heck out of this AI. <laughs> it's like, what? Need you to pull up a little further there, bud. It's a really uh, large radius turnout here, so it's really long. Like, there's the frog, and the points are way down here. I saw there's a mod, Strody, to make the map resizable, but I, I haven't used any mods. I just happened to see it on the Discord. So this is the kind of stuff I'm usually doing between episodes, unless I'm, you know, going to make an episode out of Switch and Silva. Getting the strain hooked up, get everything sorted out. Get the cold rag headed towards Alarka. Thought it might make a fun stream. Gonna hang out with you guys. There he goes. Um, let's see, I've got check, I've got Railroad. Somebody on the Discord made a handy dandy little map. So it's it's like track diagram kind of stuff. So I'm gonna reference that here and figure out maybe where this tannery stuff is going. All right, he's backed in there. Let's get zoomed in. The, the camera is still super awkward. All right, looks like we got one handbrake on. Actually, I think one of the new features was the AI will tell you if there's a handbrake. So let's just tell him to go.
Yeah, cool. One handbrake applied, standing by. There you go. There's another new feature. Saw that in the patch notes. Okay, just over 1,200 tons, 40 cars. Going to be heading for Alarica. Jason Pace, howdy from Plano, Texas. Or well, howdy right back at you. From uh, west of St. Louis, Missouri. Thanks for tuning in. All right, you are good. How are we doing on passengers back here? It's actually full, so let's get the passenger train headed out first. It's not full, full, but it's, yeah, we it's nearly full, so that's a perfect time to send it out. Sorry, Freight. I know you were just getting going. But you're uh, you're a light freight, so. That Doppler, though. We got another another Texican from Houston. We'll let you go. Oh, there's so much to do. I need to get up to East Whittier and get the log train going. There's just a lot to do every day on the railroad. This poor guy's creeping along at five miles an hour. <laughs> uh, he finally made it up here. Let's just let's get him stopped, and we'll head up to East Whittier. I'll. I think I cleaned up the switches, but I'll need to make sure the switches are all cleaned up. Then we probably need to get the log train headed up to Connolly Branch. And that's a, another morning routine thing we do. All right, I'm going to use the new roster window. And I happen to know Fordor Railroad number three is where I want to go. What happens if I check this box? Okay, so the check box is the one you're controlling. Got it. Then I can open up the inspect window and I can click here. Boom. That is super handy. I like it. Welcome Frisco. Down there in Florida. ZFG and Web Wrangler. Welcome. Yeah, we got a new update. I'm 25 minutes into the new update. Uh, yeah, log cars are empty, so we're going to need this guy to get going. This camera is so awkward sometimes. Uh, you're doing good on coal and water, so let's just get you right up in here into the siding there. That is set. That is set. Okay, cool. Whoa. <laughs> I swear the mouse, mouse acceleration changed. And I did not clean up the switches, so that's why I came up here and checked. Yeah, we got like telegraph poles and stuff. Holy crap. It's Mr. Mark DuPont. How's it going, sir? Good to see you. Hope you're well. Got Fred Pride in here from uh, Australia. Howdy, howdy. We're running, um, as far as what I have unlocked, uh, Strody. Yeah, that's not resizable. I have uh, Silva to Alarca Junction, basically. I have an expanded pass there. Okay, what am I doing? I got three trains on the go. A little pretty brains trying to keep up. All right, he's going to go up there and couple. And 
And then I'm going to need him to come back here and stop about there. Where's Mr. Passenger Train? They're both down at Dillsboro. Okay, the passenger train should pull away from the freight eventually. Because he's got a higher speed, plus he's going to be lighter. We need to get this guy headed up to Connolly Ranch, though. Confident whistle, nine inch nails. <laughs> the AI is very confident. Yeah, Strody, there's a lot going on for sure, especially doing it single player. All right, these guys are loaded up. All right, excellent. They haven't worked much on the scenery, Mark. They've just been working on functionality and, and gaming. But they do plan to add more buildings and stuff later. We just got an update today. They added three more locos, tons of bug fixes, performance fixes. Uh, I think they added some more track. I was watching uh, Schnau Schnauza Pauza. Schnauza Powers. I can never say his name right. SP over on the YouTubes. Schnauza something. He was doing an overview and showing off all the new track and stuff. It's early access. They'll be adding more scenery at some point. Uh, they've got a... They had a system they demoed quite a while back where you could set waypoints for the AI. And they would like throw switches and stuff. So it's going to get a lot more automated. For people like me that just kind of like the logistics side of it. You can still hop in and run all the locos if you want to. Alrighty, he is going. How are we looking down here? He's leaving Dillsboro, and then the freight's going to be following him. Excellent. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's already a lot to do. I don't know if I'm going to expand much more either. Just for single player, this is more than enough. <laughs> There's a lot going on. If I did expand, I would probably only do like the coal. I'd have to cut back on the industries I serve. There's just not enough hours in the day. Ooh, that's a lot of telegraph poles. A lot of telegraph lines. All right, you, sir, are out. You can go up to 25. Wait, one stop for a fusey? Say what now? Oh, I must have not cleaned up down there. Crap. You got East Whittier to Andrews. Oh, so you'll have the full thing, Jason. That's, that. yeah, that's a lot of railroad. All right, let's make sure he's, I think he's sorted to go into here. And then we need to go sort out the mess down there at, uh, Dillsboro. Yeah, he's set to come in here. And he'll he'll be parked right there. Excellent. Alright, let's go to this guy. That new roster window is so handy. That's my new favorite feature so far. Yeah, I forgot I had a I was doing some fueling down here and I left a, a fusey. There you go. Put put everything to a standstill because I forgot to clean up a fusey. Yeah, Mark, you can treat it a lot like a model railroad for sure. Or if you want to, I mean, you can get right in the cab and run everything yourself. I tend to play it more like a model railroad, though. Orchestrating, like I've got three trains going right now. Mayhem will ensue. All right, he's good for a while. 
So we can probably bop back down to this guy. And let's figure out where we're going. I've got my paper map here. Oh, that's the D-Rail Valley shift pattern. Another game I need to get back in to check out. D-Rail Valley. Uh, let's see. That's a D That's the Larka branch. Here it is, finally. Page five. You haven't done Sylvia yet. A Larka to Whittier. Yeah, I was already pretty busy. I, I canceled um, a contract or two before I opened up Silva. All right, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this uh, track diagram here. So I'm referencing... I'm referencing this track diagram of what's going on down here. And then we had... What did we have? Um, let's see. Let's let's use our switch list. Yeah, I've got Silva local. Oh, add from train. That's new. Join or create a train crew. Did wasn't I just on a train crew? Oh, it's active, but I didn't. I'm not joined to it. Ooh. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's that's all the stuff. Uh, these four are the pulp wood that's setting up there. So we have SH1. I probably need to run around this and push these in. I didn't think about that. I believe these are pretty much all facing point. SP, HD, and SH. None of which I see on my track diagram. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, no, there's SP1. That's the little blue pole over there. All right. What about SH? Oh, I see. Okay. Actually, there's a run around up there. First time I've run this one, so I'm getting used to it. SP is on the back end. Perfect. All right, so those back three cars. This engineer is so mad at me right now. It says four car capacity. Sure about that, Chief? Uh, locations. Does SP one four cars? Mm hmm. All right, where's my train? Uh, 
Uh, sorry, guys. I'll try to get uh, got back off of your uh, spend off some contracts. The track diagram is on the Roto Discord. There's like a community contributions or something like that channel. You're going to try to run the entire Unlocked Railroad with all industries? Good luck. It's, uh, it's not going to not going to happen. I should quit read chat and start running my train. Yeah, I'm not buying the whole four cars thing. So the track diagram is not always 100% accurate. Also, this may have changed, you know, with an update since the map was made. I don't know. Oh, wait, that's us. I did the wrong cars. <laughs> that's I, I needed the back three cars. Derp! Herp-a-derp! Where's HD? Okay. Fedora Freight. We'll get it there eventually. That's our that's our motto. Even if it's based on 40 foot cars, that's not going to work. I'm going to let the AI do this because I'll get to read in chat and then I'll slam into something. Yeah, they tweaked some of the numbers for the Steam Locos train fan. It was a little, a little overdone, it seemed like. They used a ton of fuel. Yeah, what I needed to do was drop these three cars off there. I are dumb. It's my first time switching down here. That's my excuse. Alright, so then we can just come on through here. Yeah, that'll work. That's some very confident horn. Ta da Hey, it was the right cars that time. I'm so good at this game. Meanwhile, the other trains are crashing and burning. No, they're doing all right. They're working their way uh, westward. All right, let's clean up those guys. I'm going to move my switch list. I can see the messages. Get our window back up here. So then these guys go right there, and then that guy is the last little trailing point switch over there. So let's go drop him off, and then we can drop those guys off. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I think I'll have just enough room to squeeze into here. We'll find out. Oh wait, is this a is this a gradient? No. Okay, never mind. 
ran it out of water, Web Wrangler. I'd like to say I've never done that, but I'd be lying. Uh oh. Oh, we got this. No problem. Perfect. We all right. He goes right here. My calculations are correct. A little bit cheaty because the AI will just immediately stop. Let's kick it on down in here. Bleed that out. Just a little bit of fire. <laughs> Get an OD KG. Yeah, I was watching some kernel failure earlier too. Saw him playing some railroader. All right, well done. A well-oiled machine, chat. Uh, let's see, you went back in here, I think. Memory serves. Okay, they're doing good. He's up there. We'll get this dropped off and then we'll be ready to build the train that needs to head up to East Whittier. We can get it headed that way. Then we'll jump back over and run some other trains. Yeah, KG, I, I appreciate the thought, but, but don't do that. That's not cool. Talking about a, somebody else in somebody else's stream. Just out of the blue like that. I mean, if people are asking for recommendations, that's one thing. Just be cool about it. Andrew Frost. Ran out of water one inch from the tower. Well, that's no problem. You just hop out and push it. I pushed a train from Whittier to East Whittier to fill it up with water. Or actually it was like halfway. That'll do right there. All right, up through here and then back. <laughs> Colorado train nerd. You keep retracting your messages. Too late though, I saw it before you retracted it. Somebody was asking that in a comment earlier, Colorado Train Nerd, on one of my videos. So I had to go look it up. I, From what I gather, it's like about 45 miles of mainline. And then there's some branches and stuff. We're done up here, so let's clean up the switches. You're coming back through. I got those guys cleaned up. Wee. This guy's just sipping fuel. I love it. All right, that's cool, KG. I was just making sure you weren't being obnoxious about it. 
Yeah, Colonel Failure, I mean, he's not only new to the game, but that's his whole shtick. He likes to just dive in cold and just let the mayhem commence. And that's why we all love the good Colonel. So he's really not interested in people telling him how to play. <laughs> but other people in chat, yeah. There's a lot to figure out. It took me a while to get going in it. If we look, uh, I think there's, yeah, so there's mile marker, mile marker 45 down here. And if we go down to the other end, 98. That's more than 45 miles. 53 miles ish, plus some branches. Okay, where am I going? What am I doing? Oh, I need to get the pulpwood cars delivered that are setting up at the other yard. So we can go do that. We have to get off this line to do that. We All right, where are the pulpwood cars going? We got to run up to Dillsborough Yard and grab those. We'll run light up here. I didn't have room. I couldn't bring them all the way down. Okay, we should be clear all the way through here. And we need to come through here. And these guys are going to P3. So we need to push them so we'll be on the right side. All right, cool. Just need to come up and hook onto them, pull them down there. Oh, I got you, Colorado train nerd. <laughs> yep. Trying to finish your thought. I do like the diesels, Jason. I'm used to doing diesels like on run eight. Steam's kind of fun. I'll, I think I'll always have a steam on at least my passenger train. Speaking of which, I did check the cold and water on that before I send it out. Crap. Okay, just a just a minor interlude interlude here. Uh, inspect window orders manual, and I want to control you. We're gonna put water in this guy while we're here. Apply the handbrake. That off. You up. Where is the freight train? The freight train's coming around the bend. Awesome. Uh, do, 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 Mr. AI. I'm going to get you slowed down to 15. And we're going to throw a fusey down here to, hello, fusey. There we go. Okay. Close all the windows. And not not overly uh, full of coal there either. Got lucky there. I could have just ran that out. Probably have to grab some coal in Bryson. Nailed it. Yep, 
Yeah, Strody, it's nice having like a, a whole short line to play with. And I like the fact that it's based on a prototype railroad, so all the track makes sense. Like all the track is there to get a job done. And it just works. I like it. Yeah, we got stuff. We got a lot of stuff to do. Little freight's gonna have to wait on us, unfortunately. It's gonna be a little tricky because I need to get this guy some coal. Let's go get that figured out. I need to get those guys to Silva someday. They've been sitting there for like three three days in game. So I'm going to have him stop here. Or does that make sense? He's running, actually he's running cars forward. Let's have him stop like... Do, 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 do. Let him stop there. Okay, where am I? Here we are. Well, they changed the diesels. Like, they were using way too little. And then they changed them up a little bit. It's a tweaking game. There's a tiny little circle now. I don't know if you can even see it with the YouTube compression that tells you like how close to full you are. So we got about a quarter load of coal and we're just coming up on full on the water. Hit all the buttons. Crunch. Okay, good sir. You can get back on your way. Uh, reverse. Full speed ahead. Do your thing. You are full up. Ready to highball on out of here. Man mops going all steam. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. And I don't know as far as power goes, Colorado train nerd. I'd have to go look at all of them. See what their attractive effort is. Uh, well, I was thinking I only had two diesels. Actually, I have three. This operates as a pair, so... I was thinking it, of it as a one. Okay, let's get you back on your normal 30. There we go. Get right back on the move again. We're going to go grab number three. Start getting him all sorted out. So he can get running up that direction. He's still got plenty of coal and water. All right, we'll send you on up the line, and we need to get back down here to this guy. 
We're just be bopping all over the railroad. And we want to get you hooked up to these pulpwood cars. This will be the first pulpwood ever delivered on Fedora Railroad. And you were here for it live. How exciting. Somebody was saying earlier what the new locos were. So the T21, is that new? 21,900 tractive effort. And it's 9,000. Uh, I think the A23 was new. 22,600 tractive effort, and it is 10,200. And then the Santa Fe. Big boy. So it's lighter but more powerful than the Burke. 38 grand. The Burke is 34. There you go. Thanks, Tree. Yeah, we'll do 25 out of here. And we just got to run all the way back down to Silva. Next time I'm going to try to bring those in all the way. I just didn't have the room. I got to get my rhythm down here at Silva. Yeah, it's not completely based on tractive effort. It's based on your reverser and throttle usage as well. Oops. That was already green. This is the one I need to switch. What's up, DC Dave? Yeah, it's the big Chungus. Or Chungus. So it's right up there with the GP9. Oh no, it's more. I was looking at the Berkshire. So more pulling power. They can, I really hope they fix the Doppler someday. It is so goofy. Okay, so we're coming all the way back down here. And we have one, two, three, four, and an engine. So about right there ish for the Fusey. Come all the way back, and then we got to shove them up into which track? Holding my paper. It is this one right here. Should be P3. More power. All right, how's, uh, okay, number three is up there, so we can use our handy dandy little thingy here to pop up there. $180 for 59 fares. Excellent. You gonna get a Santa Fe if you're a heavy hauler? Sounds like it'd be a good one. Alright, three. You can head right on back down to... East Whittier. Get you lined up to go on through to where you need to go. Seems like maybe the uh, loading in is a little smoother. Also, the the really harsh like level of detail with the shadows. Used to be a very noticeable circle around the camera. That's gone. 
it's not as noticeable. You can still kind of see it on the tracks. But it was super noticeable in the in the old grass. It's still there, but it's not nearly as noticeable. Starting to flesh out the word a little bit with some telegraph poles and stuff. That's cool to see. All right, this should be all good. He can come back to there. Colorado train nerd. Have a good one, sir or ma'am, whatever you may be. And thanks for hopping in. Be doing some bench work. I might get back into model railroading when I retire. I don't know. For now, the uh, computer games don't take up very much space. I don't have to crawl under it and solder wires. <laughs> this this is my layout for now. Okay, how are we doing? We got everybody moving. Probably need to check back in with the uh, switcher. Should be good. Once these guys get over to Bryson, we'll have to get some coal in the passenger train. I'll, I'll let the uh, freight go on around if I can get it caught in time. All right, let's head back down to this guy. They just get in the way and serve no purpose. <laughs> and it's always going to be somebody complaining. We need more detail in the game. Why is all this detail in the game? Is that something you can turn off? I mean, that would be an option. Not as we collect data. I didn't even see that. When did they add that? Boink. Should always have to opt in to collect the usage data. I may have done that at some point. I just forgot. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't think there's any option to like turn off the telegraph poles. Wonder how much tonnage it'll pull KG. Yeah, I'm not sure. Somebody's probably done the math. I know there's like tonnage charts out there. Oh, excuse me. Big ol' yawn. I change my color at some point. I'm not sure. I'm not totally sold on the yellow. It's almost the same color as like the safety rails, so it kind of all blends together. All right, we don't need that to catch him anymore. Hey, go away. Should be lined up to uh, just head on in.
Sorry, I had to sneak away, take a little tinkle. <laughs> Drank too much water earlier. Let's double check. Yeah, we're heading into the right track. And then that'll be, I think, all the switching down here at Silva we need to do. We can grab the stuff that's heading up to East Whittier and get this guy heading that direction. You got two pulpwood trains. Yeah, I kind of started small because I didn't want it to get out of hand. Mikey Allen started over. Nice. That'll do right there. You are good. All right, three has made it back down. Saw he stopped for a fusey. All right, you can come all the way through there and then let's get you lined up. Um, let's see, so we're gonna pull that in. Yeah, I probably want these on the back. Yeah, so let's grab this, those cars first. Somebody's saying it's easy to put in NPCs. <laughs> that sounds like somebody has never written a, uh, any kind of complex application before. All right, let's pop up to number three here real quick. And we're just going to get him. Whoa. Easy there, mouse. Get him heading on into the track there so the sawmill can be grabbing its logs. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. They claim that's what they do. Yeah, they probably like play around in Gary's mod or something. Consider themselves a game developer. Who knows? A sure sign in software development that the person has no idea what they're talking about is when they say, it's easy. That's, that's usually my sign to just ignore them because they have no idea what they're talking about. Luckily, most of these are empty. Pretty good little haul. I think I'm going to move that up a little bit. Just so I don't get distracted and the train gets away from me. What? That would never happen. Yeah, KG, that's... 
That's uh, definitely amateur hour stuff there. They don't really know what they're doing. They've probably worked on some little bitty projects. But, you know, for developers that have made this game, adding NPCs is not necessarily going to be that hard. It's all about priorities when you're running a, a game project or any kind of large software project. You know, there's always hundreds or thousands of things you want to do. You have to prioritize those. And what makes sense and dependencies. And there, there's just a lot to it. And I say that having spent 30 years in IT, being an infrastructure engineer, supporting developers, working closely with developers. And I write a lot of code for various things just for fun. So I'm intimately familiar with that. But that's my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. All right, are you reversed? You are not. So I was surprised it said reverse. Okay, 605 tons. Need to head on up to East Whittier. Switch. Here you go. SLWC Railfan. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, Dave, I was talking about the personal stuff I do for fun. <laughs> Sometimes work is fun, but... I don't really write a whole lot of code for work. Unless it's like scripting and kind of minor stuff. We okay, I think we're good. He can head that direction. Uh, nothing else is coming this way, so we'll go ahead and get him set up to head into the East Whittier yard. Come on back, sir. Keep moving my mouse too fast, then it doesn't switch. Oh yeah, KG. St didn't, didn't do too well. Yeah, IT is just... It just has always made sense to me, so. Now, if I have to do my taxes, I turn into a gibbering idiot. So we'll grab these cars, they're full, get them set out in the yard. And then we need to make sure he's set to come into the yard before he gets here. Uh, no, actually, he can come in on that track. That's fine. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll do incoming on this track. That's usually what I do, so let's not change from the norm. Uh, we'll leave that switch there. That'll stop him. The stuff's going to come back in here, so we'll throw a fusey down. Just 
let's let's hope you know how to do them, Dave. Since you're an accountant. Yeah, it might be done in a month, Strody, but it wouldn't necessarily be up to their standards or, you know, fit the period or the theme of the game they're going for. All that good stuff. There's a world of difference between getting something done and getting something done right. <laughs> Who's that kicking in the door? <laughs> yeah, I'll let Mrs. Kerbo deal with the uh, financial stuff. She's good at that kind of thing. So she had her taxes done in like February. Basically, as soon as we got all the paperwork we needed. Yeah, if they think they can do it better than you, Dave, why are they paying you to do it? Boggles the mind. One more Cherry Coke Zero down the hatch. <laughs> the new grass. It looks good. All right, you should be all set. How's our guy getting along? Coming through Silva. I set his speed okay. I did not. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Let me get your speed going. He was just creeping along at 15 miles an hour. My bad. Hey, Mikey, I've already taken the uh, pulpwood cars up there and brought them back with the G16. Because they're empty going up. Yeah, Strody, it's just different systems. Different countries do diff things different ways. Okay, let's throw you in the pocket here for now. We're going to have uh, deliveries we'll need to do with you here in a bit. You can't understand why they drive on the wrong side of the road. 
Yeah, Mikey, I might have to get something bigger uh, at some point. Right now, I've just got four pulpwood cars at a time. So I just take them up with the empty skeleton cars. All right, he should be making much better progress now. And I forgot all about these poor guys over here, so we got to sort that mess out. All right, he's coming up. He's routed into there, and he will be stopped because... Nope, he won't because I accidentally threw that switch. All right, you're good. Let's put you back on manual. And we need to head over and get this guy sorted out. I wanted to route him around, but I didn't get here in time. So that didn't work out. Okay, so you need to be on manual for your orders. And then let's get you on manual as well. Almost stopped in the right place. So I need to pull this guy off. Go get full of coal. Rumits Gaming and Music. Howdy, howdy. got to throw lots of switches. I'll drive him up there manually. Why not? I get the freight train around once I get the engine up. Oh, don't don't run into the freight train. <laughs> this is why I don't drive. Yeah, with four at a time, though, it's not a problem, Mikey. Oh, I didn't... Dad, gum it. That's going to hurt. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. This is why I don't drive the trains when I'm streaming. Because I look over at chat, and next thing I know, I'm slamming into the passenger train. Because I forgot to throw the switch. Yeah. So that happened. There goes my safety rating. Just a little bit of damage. That was that was an oof. That's why I always let the AI drive. <laughs> if I'm trying to look at chat and think about more than one thing at once. Oh well. Stuff happens. Nobody died, Dave. Calm down. Just 
a little minor mishap. Almost timed it perfectly. Emphasis on the almost. Give me some of that sweet, sweet coal. I might as well top off the water while I'm here. Alright, and then you, sir. Gonna need some switcheroonie down here. Get routed back onto the main. Oh, no, that one's already thrown. Somebody's been bad about cleaning up switches around here. Unfortunately, I'm the only one that operates this railroad, so... I know who to blame. <laughs> Starts with a K and rhymes with turbo. How's it going, Colin? Ain't paid to think. <laughs> they get a free spinal realignment with their ticket fare. That's right. Customer first. I think I'll have the AI drive back over there before I cause any more mayhem. He's still filling up the coal. While we're doing that, before we get all the way over to Alarca Junction, let's go make sure the track's set up for that. Yeah, because the freight train is going to be coming in first. So we want the freight train to do, 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 stop here. He's got the Alarca cars on the front. Yes. Ray train needs to stop there. I can't, if I could put a fusey right there, I would. All good. Band calling. <laughs> Hey, Johnsy. Uh, I've got to work at 11 tonight. So I've got another hour and 40 minutes or so before I have to work. So we're playing some trains. Got a game when I can. Getting some work done on the railroad and thought I might as well fire up the stream. It's not going to be a very long one. I don't get much chance to game during the week, so take advantage of it while I can. The weekend work's been pretty light, but quarter's getting ready to start, so that's going to change. Be lots more night work coming up. Didn't take much. We just filled up. We'll just top her off. Okay. You go that way. No, I don't work night shift. I don't have a shift. Like, I'm an. My usual work schedule is like 8 30 to 5. But being in IT and working on servers for a large retail company, a lot of my stuff has to be done after hours or on, on weekends. So there's always that work to do too.
All right, we'll clean up her switches like good little boy. Hey, crew met. Uh, the diesels just kind of sip fuel. They're nice. I don't know numbers wise, like any kind of math or whatever. The diesels are very fuel efficient. Are we rolling out something? Um, I think it's a patch on one of our major databases. And for my part, I have to snapshot some VMs. Which could be automated. There's just no time to do that kind of stuff yet. Because I'm the only Linux guy. Yeah, it's boring work stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm supporting a patch rollout for a, one of our major databases, basically. Okay. We are ready to roll. I think. Get out of here. How much damage we do to the tender? Oof. <laughs> Ouch. Not, not a ton of damage to that car. Mostly to the tender. Wowzers. That was painful. Yeah, they changed the diesel so they use a little more now. They used a ridiculously low amount of fuel for a, for a while. They did change that. Okay, where are we at? He is winding his way up the mountain. Need to try to catch the passenger train if I can. He'll stop before he runs into him, but. Don't know if we'll make it that far tonight. I'm I'm fading fast. I might need to go shower, get some other stuff done before work here in an hour and a half. I've only got to work like an hour, so it's not a huge deal. He's working his way up this super steep grade. There's clouds under this under the ground. It's happening. <laughs> professional organist and pipe organ builder that's pretty cool not many people do that there we go there's a nice F12 Yeah, you're super busy, Dave. I'm not working a ton of hours. It's just weird hours. I mean, I, yeah, I don't, I don't. It's a long story, but I put in my 40 and a little extra when I need to, and that's that. We're chronically understaffed. I'm not going to work myself to death because they won't spend any money. Been there, done that. That's a young man's game. I'm old. I'm a, I'm a senior IT engineer. <laughs> All right, he's picking up some speed. Only 400 tons. Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. I forgot you can like shift click on an engine on the map now and it'll select it 1200 tons I'm 
Most of it's empty. There's some mining supplies there. Some mining supplies. Some machinery. Mining supplies. Most of the train is empty. Alright, he's actually going to be at Alarka here pretty soon. All right, who have I forgotten about? Five's waiting. Four, could get him running cars maybe over to East Whittier. Those cars have been sitting there forever. We need to be working uh, three once this car, once those cars get going there. Just chugging along. Almost made it to East Whittier. I was just talking about how the loading speed had improved. Not always. I noticed down at Silva there weren't any telegraph poles. Any at Dillsborough? weird I was forgetting the logs yeah see there aren't any down here where like do they just not put them on yet or what's going on here Track go. There it is. Hmm. Yeah, they end at some point. Ah, they end right here. Okay. I don't know if that's intentional. Like maybe in real life they crossed the river and went somewhere else. Yeah. That's where they don't follow the track anymore, though. But logs, so we already worked the logs. We already did the morning logs. They're good. The uh, evening run up Connolly Creek. We'll take the empties up and do the old swaparoo. We might do earlier than evening because we will have pulp wood that needs to go up there. Clean up some fusies. Clean up some switches. There he is, he made it. That was the wrong car. Sort that out. I'm going to just pull those forward with this guy. Two handbrakes applied. Oh, interesting. So 
So he's seeing the handbrakes even though I have disconnected. That's probably not intended behavior. Stencil. Oh, there's two for stencil. Do 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 this guy. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bug. If you've pulled the uncoupling pin, you should ignore that part of the terrain. deal dude the nice yeah I threw the switch what are you waiting on are you just confused now you're all bugged out He just got bugged out. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. So those switches are all good. Let him stop about there ish. Yeah, Crummit, I've I kind of got in the habit of going if I'm switching between road and yard, I was going to manual first. That was some kind of like he didn't want to move because handbrakes were set even after I cleared the handbrakes. So I'm not sure what was going on there. Turn him on and off again. I think I'll get this set up. And then I'm going to be calling the night here pretty quick. How are we doing out here? He's made it out there. I'm going to slow him down. He's going to be approaching the back end of that freight train. As far as you, you can just stop. So I'm gonna have you pull up a little bit. That'll do. Uh, let's see, we go to this guy. Did that shoot? All right, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it a different way. Got it moving too fast for what I was originally gonna do. It's okay. We'll drop him off on this track. We that switch so he doesn't want to go all the way to Alarca. Hey, I was taking a nap. Could be. Could be.
So this engine here will be taking that back to Alarka. It should fit on here. Oh yeah, no problem. They're very yellow. <laughs> the first GP9 I bought was that color, or very near that color. Oh, we've got a door open. I'm like, yeah, it kind of, kind of grew on me, so I just left it. That became the official colors. It might change though, especially if we could do two tone. I'd be changing it up. So far, it's just one color. All right, come all the way back. And grab your train, sir. Got the passenger train patiently waiting back here. It is stock full. Yeah, it's kind of in your face. Yellow! Whoa! Uh, and then we have to hope, will that fit in here? I th think it'll fit in here. For that when you I'm gonna need to run around this train ooh well that I'm not sure that will fit we're gonna need to do the long run around shoot I need to let the passenger train by all right we'll pull up and we'll clear for the passenger train then we'll figure it out if it's not it's not enough track, we'll do something different. That's the 15. I don't want to get too carried away. It's very safe, yep. <laughs> Kind of wanted more of a Fedora Farms orange. Oh, I forgot what my color is now. What's the official color? FFC5. There we go. No, don't open the doors. Go. 
Oh, is that Miami Hurricane? <laughs> oh, it is going to fit. Good. Good deal. All right, we'll get the passenger train routed around. Beautiful. It'll come in there and do its business at the station. So that's 29 cars. It's about all we can get in there. Yeah, we can do 30. There we go. He has arrived at Alarca Junction. But uh, I need to get off here. I'm kind of tired. I need to go shower and do some stuff. And then uh, I got some work here in a little over an hour. But there you go. That's some of the stuff I've been doing uh, in between videos that we just have to do like every day. Just work at the railroad. I'm going to try to keep the uh, the Saturday weekly videos rolling out for a railroader. Uh, maybe more frequently if I can manage it. But I'm going to try to do it at least weekly. Because it's super fun. I know you guys enjoy it. Thanks for hanging out here on the Saturday night or Sunday morning, whatever it might be for you. Y'all have a good one. Take care. And I'll catch you in the next adventure. Did I cut myself off? I'll catch you in the next adventure. Bye.